Hello guys, this is Josh again with the uh, hydroponics update. Um, I'm starting to build an aquaponic system and uh, here's my tote tub and I wanted a good way for the water to drain without it trickling across the bottom of it and maybe you know not dropping into the fish tank so I had cut a small hole in the bottom of this and attached this PVC pipe via the outside of the tote container and then I attached it with super glue the Gorilla Glue or whatnot and I attached it first and then I put the silicon caulking around the exterior of it to try and give it a better mold to stay in there so I don't know if this is actually going to work but I also wanted to know if you guys can let me know if it was safe for me to use the super glue when I'm going to be using water that the fish will be living in I mean the super glue is dried I just didn't know if when it meets water if it creates any toxins for the water or whatnot so please please let me know if if anybody has any thoughts on that I was kinda worried about that at the time and I uh, I, I, I had two totes before I had a big green one and then I chose this one because the bottom of this one it has if you can see connected the lowest point of all of it is connected to this point here they're all the low points so the water should drain a lot better than the other one and I can show you here in a second what the other one looked like and it it didn't have good low points for draining and well I moved the hydroponic setup out of uh, my bathroom so that I could give my dogs baths finally again they needed baths and uh, I moved it to one of the back rooms on another wire rack shelf I'm gonna have two rooms here dedicated to this. Here's the bathroom, no no tote. And then this is going to be my aquaponics room. This is a 30 gallon fish tank. The reason why I have a 30 gallon fish tank for this is because I got it for free. And uh, that tote there is about a 50 gallon tote so I shouldn't have to worry about an overflow on it but I do have to make sure my timer set up so that I don't drain the fish tank completely. And I'll probably only have a foot of rock bed in there so that thing will not be close to being full. It's just going to be good to have those sidings on there to kind of maybe put some aluminum foil on the side of it to help reflect the light. And so this is what I did here. If you can see, I cut out a piece of the wire here for the PVC to drop down so that I could have the fish... the the grow bed drain well. And then the, my pump, as you can see, is in there all hooked up with tubing coming up to here. And this is going to drop over into the, the tank. And I have these two ceramic tiles here, or whatever kind of tiles there are, so that it would raise this side slightly to this side so that the water would drain better. And I had. <coughs> I had this container right here originally. That one's a lot longer and it's not as deep so it would have kind of allowed more light to get in from the outside. But I had a big problem with this and I don't know if this was considered a big problem. If it's not a big problem and I can use this safely, please let me know because this is going to allow me to have a larger grow bed. Now I was only going to put the rock about a foot deep like I said before. But if you can see here I don't know if you can see very well. There are these feet that are at the bottom. And those are at different levels than, say, this portion right here. This is raised, and this is not. But it is also higher. This portion here is still even higher than this foot. All four feet are at the lowest point in this container, which means whenever this thing drains, water collects down here in these corners when it drains so it never will drain completely there will always be some standing water in here which is bad because if there's standing water it promotes mold growth and things don't drain very well the roots if they got to the bottom they could go through root rot so any advice would be very well appreciated on whether or not this would be safe to use because I am saying no this is the size of the hole that I have in that other tote it's a pretty small hole. As you can see, I tried to glue it on there before, but I used uh, hot glue with a glue gun, and it did not work. It didn't stick, so I tore it off. 
and I got a new tote because I tested it out with the drain and it didn't completely drain. So let me know what you guys think about it. It fills up within three minutes perfectly and I can shut it off and it'll slowly drain out which I want it to slowly drain but I need it to completely drain I'm pretty sure so please like I said let me know if that's a problem this will be my hydroponics room <laughs> I'm gonna have two tow containers going here I just don't have this one set up just yet because I don't really have any plants to transfer over to it but I'm gonna put five pods in here in the shape of an X kind of that way I can put more, I can put the bigger plants in this one so that they'll have more room to grow. And if you can see here, this is one of my bean plants that I had. And it's doing pretty good. This is another bean plant. The leaves are just huge compared to what they were. This is literally the two weeks that they're, they're two weeks old. And I was expecting them to be a little bit bigger. And there's my corn. It's two weeks old. <coughs> And then these two here, that plant and that plant went through something called, I believe it was um, nutrient burn. My old toad container, I did not have a parts per million tester and didn't think this was going to work in the beginning and I followed the miracle Grow instructions on how to put miracle Grow in the solution. I put way, way too much. I think it's like 800 is safe or 900 is safe and I had like somewhere around 2200 parts per million so this is bad I mean they they started to go grow go through this I had this one right here die on me and this one on here die so it, it was just I needed to change the solution so I immediately changed the solution and it it hasn't this one hasn't gotten any worse but it hasn't looked like it's gotten better and here's my lettuce that I have growing and it's doing well I guess that's about maybe a week old Those are my boot jalokia peppers that are doing fine so all in all this is just another similar setup that I have with the lights and the wire rack and I have some water down here being dechlorinized with the air stones and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this bottom shelf but I'll figure it out later so all right well thanks for uh, watching and like I said please let me know about that drain system I need this grow bed to work and I don't know whether or not this one would work or whether or not it's better better to use that brown one where it it has a common low point to where it can all drain. So it's not as big, but I mean, I needed to drain, right? So, all right. Well, thanks, guys. Let me know what you guys think.